Welcome. Hi, Joey Tribbiani, longtime pageant fan, first time judge. <laughs> well, I'm Jerry, the pageant producer. Oh, hey, sorry I'm a little late. I had kind of a crazy night, but it's not going to interfere with my judging duties. I am so honored to be here. To me, there is no more noble endeavor than rating hot chicks. Watch. Four. That's my wife. Out of five. <laughs> Jerry, I want to introduce you to Bob Saget. This is Joy Tribbiani. He's another one of our celebrity judges. Wow, Bob Saget. I don't like to be touched. <laughs> so, uh, wow, are we judging this together? I'm on the same level as you? Well, that depends. How much are you getting paid for this? You're getting paid? OK, everybody, we wanted to take this opportunity to introduce the judges to the finalists. So here they are, Miss Tucson, Miss Santa Fe, Miss Reno, and Miss Laughlin. Sorry I'm late. Had a crazy night. Hey, hello again. Nice sash. Oh. I just did something bad. OK, here's the story. You with me till 10 o'clock. Michael, you saw him go to bed at... No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. I hooked up with one of the contestants. Did any of us think that wasn't going to happen? OK, now I can't be impartial. What am I going to do? Well, you could resign. Or I could hook up with the other four finalists. How's that going to help? Well, then none of them will have an advantage. It'll level the playing field. Joey, I got to say. Yeah, please. That is brilliant. Yeah, yeah, this is too important. I have to preserve the integrity of the Miss Southwestern USA pageant. By hooking up with all the contestants? Hey, I didn't ask for the solution to this horrible problem to be wonderful. It just is. <laughs> so. You two are both New Mexicans, huh? Do you guys like each other? Yeah. Really? How much? <laughs> uh, we're actually sharing a room. That is great news. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, we're having a special emergency meeting. There have been some improprieties with contestant judge relations. Please come with me. See you at the pageant? I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> I would just like to remind everyone that I filled in as a last-minute replacement for Corbin Burnson, and I think that that should count for something. Okay, the reason we're here is that one of the contestants, Miss Laughlin, has had improper relations with a judge. Maybe it was an irresistible judge, and no one's at fault. The rules could not be clearer on this issue. As a result, we are disqualifying Miss Laughlin from the competition. And we will be passing her name on to the U.S. Council on Beauty Pageants, Dog Shows, and Rodeos. Are you going to disqualify the judge? Actually, since the pageant is in three hours, we don't have that luxury. Oh, well, hold on a sec. That doesn't seem fair. That's a double standard. I'm sorry? Well, it takes two to tango. The judge is just as guilty as she is. And well, as much as it pains me to say it, if she's going to go, he should go too. Yes, you're right. Bob, I think you should leave. Nice speech, Gloria Steinem. <laughs> Jackass. Guy Reynolds. Who the fuck is Guy Reynolds? Guy was a television director. He directed the Just Shoot Me, where Fincher's mother died of breast cancer. I've watched his reel, and he's good. Now, Guy loves the script, and he loves your movies. Wow. OK, great. That buys him a meeting. Where the hell is he? He's right there. Peter Dragon. Peter Dragon. Peter Dragon. I am such a fan. I feel like I've known you my whole life. I grew up on your movies. You made me want to become a filmmaker. That's it. Wow, that's fantastic. Guy, let go of my hand, Guy. 
First of all, you're older than me, so save me the AFI achievement speech, okay? Second of all, you buried me in bullshit before we could even say hello. Hey, look at us already cursing up a storm and having locker room fun. Okay, Guy, yeah. you're gonna have to calm down. Yeah, Peter, I'd like to say that I'd consider directing Beverly Hills Gun Club the apex of my career. That is so sad. You, <laughs> I get it, Peter. You're hitting me with zingers. He's hitting me with zingers. It's okay, I'm from TV. There's nothing you can say to me that Suzanne Summers hasn't already said. <laughs> so. Can we make this movie together? Come on. Guy, there's nothing more pathetic than two white men trying to high five. Put your hand on this, people watch. Oh, yeah. I better stay sharp around you, Pedo. Hey, listen to me. Maybe we'll hammer out some pathetic deal later, but in the meantime, don't you ever put an O at the end of any word ever again in my presence. You got that? Even if it's one of those delicious sandwich cookies. What are they called now, Guy? Or ease. Uh. Okay. Congratulations. You're my new director. <laughs> Wendy, get this monkey away from me. Yeah, I am not even here. Oh. Yeah. All right, people. I'm not here to spread bird seeds, so listen up. This is our new uh, director, Guy Reynolds. And if you don't know him yet, you're gonna, well, you're gonna love him, just like I love him. Thank you, Peter. Hands. Thank you. Hands. Hi, everyone. I'd like to take the time to just say this is so exciting. I feel excited and I'm I hope- no, I'm nauseous, for no. real, stop. No more, no okay. more of this rah-rah shit. Listen Let's up, give our, Peter, our attention, Peter, our Let, attention. I got it. Look, due to a fiscal miscommunication with the studio, I am currently paying for this production out of pocket. That means every time somebody is not working, they're holding a gun to my head and they're robbing me. And I don't like to be robbed. In fact, I hate it. I'm sort of like one of those uh, Charles Bronson death wish vigilante type fellows. You rob me, I will hunt you down, and I will kill you. So, that means, in review, by 11 o'clock tonight, we will have three pages in the can or else everyone below the line is fired, including an actor. Now let's move, people, I don't have a lot of time. I wanna see people running around like Michael Jackson out of Toys R Us, let's go. Okay, let's light the scene, let's block right, these actors. Come on, people, let's do it fast, let's do it good, let's do it right. And the beers are on me when we're done. I think guys can inject some real positive energy into this shoot. He's so gay that I'll bet money he's straight. Good call. I know. You're an executive on this film. I'm waiting for you to tell me what to do. You see, I was served with a cease and desist in the middle of what I believe is going to be a very interesting scene. I'm a director. I don't, I'm not a lawyer. Do I need to talk to Peter? On... <laughs> Think about it for a second, guy. Do you really want to talk to Peter? Probably not. That's probably right. I should probably leave. That's probably so. Okay. How come you're not on the set? Um, they shut me down, didn't they? I just came by to show you my support. If there's anything at all I can do for you in this difficult time, I'll, I'll do it. It's not Guy's fault. The Rothstein brothers sent an army of lawyers to the set. Yeah, I did not give up without a fight, Peter. I told them loud and clear. I said, hey, you're messing with a Peter Dragon production of a Guy Reynolds film, and that's a very powerful combination, buster. No, you didn't. No, I thought it, though. I told my agent I almost said I was like that. Hey, listen to me. You know why you're here, guy? Because 15,000 directors in this little book of every available director in the world, they all told me no! That's why you're here! Now get out of my office and shut the door on your way out, please. That's a wonderful idea, Peter. Three's a crowd. I can count. That nice talking to you. Talk, Wendy. 